Welcome back to the stream. I apologize it took so long for me to start the broadcast again. Just load in. There we go. Alrighty. Here we are. Handed to me at the moment. Never know. Could end up being useful. Come on, come on. Right on, right on.
though. Kind of sucks. She needs your help. Yep, I've done that. Fine, Thompson's crossing. If I leave this place, just planks. Yeah, all good. It's a deadly and enduring storms. It also frees and damage your clothing. to the community hall. Let's hope. We take it if I look at it a certain way. <laughs> I do want to kind of see the information about stuff. I can't feel my feet. But I haven't really got to... Uh... Time to just stand on the cold. See what's going on, so...
I do this though. Okay. Another body. Soaking right. Oh, I'm soaking right through this paper. All that's left of me, those cowards. Like someone jumped up and bit me. What's wrong to follow? Maybe it's maybe I don't trust him. I want to lead you home. Damn, I'm freezing. Yeah, this ain't good. I think I can use this. Literally freezing. Saying good. Uh, what the? It wouldn't let me pick it up. But the controls are messed up a bit with this one. Since one, the yeah, updates. Just that one. That's not good. There's no point in doing a fire, I'm gonna need to rest soon anyway, and I'm sure there'll be one up, a place out there where I can rest.
Let's have this one. Campfire. Best to go straight there. It's over a campfire or some house burning down. Uh, I played the long dark today. Oh, what's up, Justin? How you doing? So I wanted to try it out because it's been a year since I played it. Yeah, it's a good one. I'm so glad they keep updating it and um. Maybe that community hall from the flyer. Even carried on with the uh, story. Which I've been wanting to play for a while, just never got around to it. But here I am now, I'm playing it. Uh, how how, uh, how much of the story have you played so far? This this might be some spoilers here. Don't want to spoil it for you if you. I'm, I'm definitely a. Uh, Person that doesn't like spoilers, so. <laughs> Look funny, it's because. Play sandbox. Oh, you did the. Yeah, survival. Oh. Try doing that on the hardest difficulty. Like, Jesus. Sometimes it won't even last like 20 minutes. Uh, I used to always play that on hardest difficulty, and I mean, at times I got quite, quite far in. Mining town. Not used to be too anyway. far, but uh, and then sometimes it was just like start, and then just, just go and catch a break. Wouldn't find anything that would keep you living. Nothing warm, and you just have blizzards, blizzards, blizzards. <laughs> Terrible. Just warm up. It's a goddamn freezing. Probably warmer inside here. There's maybe a fire going or something. This this girl's freezing. Next to the or some of these tree speaking, speaking maniacs lurking near highway passes in out of the valley. He wasn't sure what they were doing, but we need to stay vigilant. Did come up that I was stealing it. There's like a, some karma thing in this. Or they were like, you know, don't take 
of stuff, then I wouldn't take it. Come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. Crash site? How did you know about the. The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. I oh, know. You crashed yesterday in the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out <laughs> where you belong. <laughs> he thinks she's a bit delirious. What is this place? Well, I should go to bed now because I have this school and need to wake up for four, huh? four and a half. Four and a half hours. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, I guess we'll sleep, man. Huh? You're gonna feel like shit in the morning if you don't. I guess we'll sleep now. Four days ago, the houses became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. <laughs> then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. <laughs> So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the <laughs> harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the roads clear. But will someone come to check on the town and to clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. At this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back, and we can try to figure out what can be done for them. Sounds good. Uh, you let me move now. Chapter 2, Fallen Star. I feel like two of them are going to be dead. Alright, straight out with Ori and me dad.
I'm gonna check you over. Let me have a look, okay? Concussion. Let's rest. Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. Concussion. Bet that the next one's gonna have it. Bad. Alright, continue. Have a look, okay? <coughs> Feeling better now? Check you over. Insulin. Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. <coughs> what are these guys? Now, if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Screw it. I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold and also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need, but there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die well then we need to find some and soon before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside I need to remain with the survivors minister to them but you you can go and look for the medicine they need I will any suggestions you have would be very useful most of the surrounding houses will be empty but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. How will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay, 
You keep an eye on everyone, and I'll be back as soon Jesus. as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. I'm not leaving yet. Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken hearted, worried <coughs> about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my dream. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In okay, turn, well, my water's about that. Take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I, I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the okay, closest well, thing to my being able to the water. for them. I mean, it's, it's no about disrespect, a... Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. Okay, okay, let me tend to my water. Let me give my damn water. <laughs> Jesus. So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You're heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not going to leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? I doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. <coughs> yeah, well, yeah, well. I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure. Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. <laughs> well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. Carry on.
this stuff will come in handy. Best to look around probably yeah. in the morning. <laughs> right, so I was looking at uh, oh, it's how far on the way. Let's save a bit. Down the line uh, search for more signs of escaped ones. Number of survivors from prison bus uh, crash have found that way. Well, I uh investigate Wrapped up in local politics and history of Pleasant Valley. Search for more information about the activity in the region. Find collectibles. Find uh, search the car. Gift. dark outside. Getting a bit thirsty. Oh, just a tad. Uh, affable and quick to laugh. Even in a crisis, Father Thomas is lifted by his faith rather than weighed down by it. Oh. Erudite? And he needs to be. I don't know what erudite means. <laughs> Treasures the idiot. <coughs> Pragmatic spiritual needs of the life on remote Great Bear Island. Earths. Bad. Baptisms. Funerals, mostly. Just how and why Father Thomas came to find himself in Pleasant Valley remains a mystery. But it's clear his devotion to the tiny parish and that Thomas's crossing has helped bind the community together. Additional officers for the upcoming inmate transfer. <coughs> Have we arranged additional officers for the upcoming transfer? Inmate transfer? Roads and conditions are never good on Great Bear. This year I'm hearing they are even worse than usual. Let's make sure we haven't have enough help when when we need it. As you know, this bench won't make it easy on us.
Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have it. Some more down food. <laughs> Should get light outside again soon. Message, and then I'm gonna fully search this place and see what I can do. Stuff I find. <clears throat> Actually, we're gonna end the broadcast here. I'm gonna race, uh, make the next episode. Start the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you.